Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I'm happy to come your way again today on Dream Interpretation. We'll be talking about an interesting animal in a dream. Everybody wants to know the meaning. My name is Pastor Timothy Eguatuchi Omo, the Dream Interpretation Doctor. Let us pray. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Father, we give you thanks. We magnify thy name, the creator of heavens and the earth, the maker of the whole universe. Take over as we have come to get in depth of some revelations that are coming to our way. Give us the power to understand it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Today, We'll be talking about an animal very, very interesting in a dream for you to know the meaning. This animal is called snake. Anytime you see snake, what does it portray? That's what I'm going to let you know. We are going to have biblical anchors, something that will help you to understand it very well. Let's go to the Bible. Genesis chapter 3, verse 1 and verse 4. Now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. Verse 4. Then the serpent said to the woman, You will not surely die. Serpents or snake in a dream means evil, satanic attack, temptation, and some things that are evil, connected. That's what we link to serpent in a dream. We are going to have some other things that will help you to understand this symbol very well in a dream. For instance, Whenever you see a snake in a dream, God is showing that eh, there is agents of darkness, agents of satanic agents on the business you are about to carry within that season. Whenever you see a snake chasing somebody in a dream, it's talking about satanic attack. I will also bring some Bible passages that will help you to understand this a symbol called snake in a dream. This is the book of uh, Psalm 58, verse 4. Okay. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. Mm -hmm. They are like the deaf cobra that stops its ear. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Their poison is like the poison of the serpent. So, the poisonous, the most poisonous animal that can take somebody and kill somebody within tinkles on eye is the poison from a serpent. Mostly that of a copra. A copra is a type of a snake, a, a type of uh, serpent. So it is very, very dangerous. It's evil. In the first place we read in the book of Genesis, it connecting to a tempter, it connecting to satanic uh, advice or satanic visitation, satanic agents. Here, it comes in form of a poison or a, a something that will destroy or key. So, serpent in a dream is always talks about evil, satanic attack, satanic agents, or anything connecting to vices, connecting to evil. That is what we connect to snake in a dream. Now, I would like you to also notice that there are some things we will see as we are having a face with snake in a dream that may also show that eh, things are not moving as supposed to move. For instance, snake biting somebody in a dream. Snake bite means evil news. Take it. Very, very important to understand this. Whenever you see a snake bite in a dream, you may bite somebody or you may bite yourself or whatever. That is telling you that within the time when these things happen, you are going to hear something that will make you to be very sad. 
It may be an accident of somebody that you love so much. It may be a death of somebody you love so much. A sort of mishap that you not like, that will make you unhappy. That is what that snake bite may connect in a dream. It may be even a loss of job. It's a, a, a dangerous a arrow that will make somebody to lose a job in the office. That's a snake bite. It's always negative. Snake in a dream. The only time we can see snake positive in a dream is when you kiss snake. When somebody kiss snake in a dream, it means triumph. It means victory. It means power over the authority of the darkness. It means having power to overcome the agents of darkness. That is killing snake in a dream. Then when somebody also burns a snake in a dream, it turns about having triumph over the programs of enemy in your life. So whenever you kill a snake or burn a snake in a dream, it's always positive. It turns about triumph. It turns about victory over the programs of the enemy. Then whenever snake is being drawn in the water, God is telling that also you have victory over the affairs of the day. The trouble that was coming to you, you have overcome it. That that trouble will no longer swallow or drown you. That is the meaning of a snake being drawn in the water. God is saying that the people that are pushing you, they will also be killed or be destroyed through their devices they are using to, to pursue you. Let us see still more um, points from the Bible on the issue of snake. Let's see the book of uh, Isaiah. Isaiah 58, verse 1. Isaiah 27, verse 1. Isaiah 27 verse 1, sorry. Isaiah 27 verse 1. In that day, the Lord with his severe sword, great and strong, will punish Leviathan, the fleeing serpent. Leviathan, that twisted serpent, and he will slay the reptile that is in the sea. Hallelujah. Amen. God is trying to tell us that whenever you see serpents, mostly this type that is so dangerous and so scary whenever you see it that your reliance should be on the one that created you so is the only one that can give you victory and give you power to overcome it and moreover whenever you are seeing snake or serpent in a dream you don't rely on your own power to overcome because if you notice in the book of genesis the first place we read, Genesis chapter 3, verse 1, you find out that this serpent was the only thing that destroyed human relationship with the God in the Garden of Eden. So he tried to fight the thing that God says yes. That is the satanic device for you on the issue of serpent. I want you to understand this because serpent is very, very dangerous. As we see it dangerous physically, it is also like that in interpretation or in meaning in a dream. It doesn't have any negative except when you destroy them. When you destroy serpents, that means you are having the opportunity to have a breakthrough on what you have to do within that time. Then let's see the book of uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 8. He who digs a pit will fall into it, uh -huh. and whosoever breaks through a wall will be beaten by a serpent. He who digs a pit will fall into it, and whosoever breaks a wall, the serpent will, will bite. Listen, serpent is satanic oppression, emotion. To them that not care about the salvation of their souls through our Lord Jesus Christ is always have a, to be victim of this uh, animal called serpent. So you have to take care of some covenant. You have to take care of some covenant. Because the Bible said that the dark places of the world is full of the habitation of cruelty. Psalm 74 verses 20. 
we have to respect covenant because when you don't want evil don't pursue evil don't pay evil for evil if you want to be free from this satanic oppression or serpent in a dream i believe that you have understood this and you can move in the favor of god to understand what to do anytime any moment you see this called serpent in a dream it's a time of prayers it's a time of battling it out it's a time to tell the enemy that uh, you don't like what you are seeing in case you are seeing serpent pursuing you in case you see a serpent bite you have to do what you have to cancel it i used to let us know this that uh, the reason why god showed you that dream is for you to say no if it's a bad one you have to tackle it with prayers and they uh, suspend the operation of that dream when it is negative it's all the good one we share is and we pray that God will bring it to come to pass. So serpent dreams will connect you to a prayer line that will make you to be on a gaining ground by praying and suspending and canceling the effects of that dream of serpent. I would like us to pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, this moment. I stand against every oppression of the powers of the wicked world mm -hmm. coming in the name or in the form of a serpent to everyone that is viewing this clip or video and who are that hearing me this moment in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Every serpent spirit that comes in a corny form, that comes in a satanic form, that comes in any form to stop a destiny of every life that is hearing me now. I cancel your oppression now. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thou serpent, thou snake, thou agents of Satan, you don't have power over this life because Jesus has paid a price for their lives. Leave them now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Henceforth. Your dream ring will change. Amen. Every serpent spirit shall no longer be occurring and reoccurring again in your dreams. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Remember, bless in Jesus' name.